What are the three things that beginners need to know about putting stuff together in Fusion 360? Joints, coming up. Hey, I'm Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. So I've been trying to figure out how to do joints in Fusion 360. I've watched Bryce's webinar. I've watched uh, one of John Saunders' videos on putting joints together. And here's the three things that I think beginners need to know about putting stuff together in Fusion 360. I just created this bolt. What I'd like to do is make this a component. Currently, it is a body. Right click on it, create component. Give it a name. So now that these are all components, this is free to move about. I'll turn these on so that we can see them. And what I want to do is now put it together. Next, I think it's important that you ground something. Since everything, I'm allowing some movement once this assembly is put together, I need something to act as an anchor point. I'll choose this main body, the orc, right click on it, and ground. Capture position, and now this is locked in space, even though it's a component, everything else will be able to move around it. Okay, so what is it I mean by one joint to rule them all? So if you're coming from SolidWorks like I was, this is a little bit different methodology. So let's look at an example. So in most CAD tools, if you wanna put this block down in the corner, you would mate this bottom face to this bottom face. And it would bring it down, it would still slide. You'd then mate this side face to this side face and bring it to the corner. Now, it still could move up and down, and I do the bottom face to the table, mating it down. So it took me three mates, and typically the strategy was three faces. Now, with joints in fusion, it's pretty different. The goal is to achieve the same thing with one selection. So what I might do is select this corner point to this corner point, and then add the joint. When I do so, I would then select what movement is acceptable. I would say rigid because it wants to lock into place. Rigid. Let's look at another example in Fusion. So what I want to achieve with one joint is get this into the place, get it into its hole. I start the joint command. I hit J on my keyboard. When this dialog comes up, I will capture the position, just keeping it where it is. I'll then select this cylindrical face. Now, before I click on it, I'm gonna actually hold control, and what that does is it allows me to pick from the different spots that relate to this face. I actually wanna select this inner point. That's a joint origin, this disc that's being selected. I'll then come over to the next component and do something similar. I'm gonna to go to the bottom face, and when I hold con command or control, the joint origin pops up and I can select that disc. So those two discs align. And then what motion am I allowing it? Do I want it to stay stiff, rigid, locked in place, glued into place, or revolute in this case, allowing it to spin? So I achieved the placement with one joint, not three mates or three selections like uh, other CAD tools. So that's a few things to get you started with joints. I'm going to be making uh, a series around joints because I'm trying to master it myself. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching.